Alrighty, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bumzilla112 coming at you with another War Thunder video. Today's video, we're going to go ahead and revisit our tank tactics and map knowledge video. Uh, these things are kind of a pain in the butt to take uh, to, to film. And I'm going to go ahead and just scoot this camera right on over to... The enemy team. And we'll go ahead and watch the very first portion, which is the most important portion. What exactly do enemy do at the beginning of the match? Watch their travel pass. Pay close attention. Alright, so we got a couple of vehicles pushing down to, uh, what was that? KB-85 and, or is that an IS-1? KB-85 and an IS-2 going down River Road. I call this River Road because it's right next to the bay. It makes no sense. I should call it Bay Road, but I call it uh, River Road, whatever. We've got a couple more that will be pushing down uh, River Road. Everyone knows this, right? Port Novostrovsky. A lot of people like to use this this side. Uh, they set up shop and watch the, the bridge. Because idiots like to go across the bridge. I don't know. I never understand why anyone wants to do it unless they're like in an M18. Alright, so we have the secondary road. Looks like we got a captured Panther and a T-34. And of course, this is the road that looks directly at what? Charlie. And we got one ballsy uh, SU-85 going for Charlie. And no one had... Well, I, should, I take that back. Somebody had eyes on him. Yeah, I'm surprised he made that. I didn't even know that uh, he had made that move during the game. By the time I got to my position, which this is where majority of the fight where I'll be majority of the fight is right here holding down this entire section so I'd already dropped my arty or I should say I just dropped my arty and we've got one vehicle on alpha so as you can see a lot of vehicles like to use the secondary road, the one that's right next to River Road. They pull on down. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four already coming down this way. We got a T-34 here, and we have an IS-2 that had came out into the open, and I got a shot on him. Hit him uh, in his transmission, slowed him down. And he did. Alright, we got a PT-76. Which is going to be my next target. If you could see where I'm at. Everything. You could see this entire corner. Especially right here. This, uh, this block of, uh, of fence line right here. Once it starts getting knocked down, enemies can't use this area anymore. And that's a good tip for you as well. Once you start seeing get holes getting knocked in this, you're never going to see anyone that's firing on the backside of Bravo. You're not going to see them. There goes one T-3485. Killed him on the corner. And that PT-76, as you can see, he's dead in my sights. You're not going to see shots coming from this location. You take cover here. I've seen other people, they like to come up to this. Don't do it, it's not worth it. This is where you want to hold your fight at. Especially in the Sherman Firefly, where you have no armor, but your gun is very good at, uh, at long distances, at, at range. You're going to want to you wanna keep that position. Hold the angles as best you can. 
All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. We got the individuals starting to make their movement over into the ruins. We got that IS-2 that has uh, got eyes on me, but not much he can do. He's getting bombed now, and thank goodness for that, right? Holy crap. I was playing the little dancing back and forth game with that IS-2, but... Took a shot at a dead target. Alright, let's speed it up again. Alright, so now we got, uh... Targets that are coming down... River Road. The SU-100Y. Another T-34. I don't know. That's a KV-85. And right now, I'm making it so that uh, this this T-34 can't make a push. That's what I noticed. Oh, crap, man. There's something out in the open there. It's a little jerk. These, uh... These trees and wood line are, are a really good place to get into, especially if you can get to them early game and no one sees you get there. Uh, you can't see really anything through there. Go ahead and speed this up. Right when he made this move here, that's when he made, that's his mistake, I saw him. Takes quite a few shots to kill this guy though. British AP sometimes is a pain in the butt. There we go. Right now I'm getting hit with a little bit of arty and we got another bad guy that's another anti-air that's uh, tried to come out into the open. This T-34 made a huge mistake by exposing his uh, right side again. I make short work of him right here. If you're gonna hold this angle, you need to hold it further back and toward the middle of the road here so that you can angle yourself toward the action. You wanna hold it right about here so that you can angle your tank at about a 30 degree angle. Honest with you, that guy, I know I shot at him earlier, but I completely forgot about him. And this guy is completely oblivious to him. I think that's where I bit it, isn't it? No, oh, no, right here. This is where I die. Always be mindful of this road. Pop. 
Pop. We'll go ahead and speed up to this again. And then the rest of the game I finish out in the Typhoon. On server replay that uh, let's change that back to player view and close air support is a must Especially with how close it, it is to us losing, we need to take out as many of, uh, of the vehicles trying to reinforce their forward because all we pretty much have left is uh, that's one down. All we have left is AAA, which sucks. And that'll do it. My personal opinion when it comes to uh, British tanks in general, uh, you're not going to be doing majority of your work on the ground. I mean, you, you can. It's, it's legitimately possible for you to do majority of your work on the ground with that AP show. Where it comes in play, though, is getting, getting enough points in order for you to bring out something that can do work from the air as well. So you need to have a very good lineup set up in order for you to uh, succeed with uh, British mid tier and I think from now on I'm gonna uh, at least for the next few videos I'm gonna stick with uh, doing uh, British vehicles because I've noticed a lot of people have difficult time with them hell even I have a difficult time um, maybe I can highlight some of the things that I do well with them and uh, some of you can learn from it and maybe we can make this uh, mid tier British uh, tanks uh, great again <laughs> All right, I'll see you on the next one. Later.